Hello again, everyone. Schoons Comics here with another exciting, oh, so thrilling, comic book haul. Yes, people, people, it has been a minute, and frankly, I got no excuses. Just been busy. We've all been busy. But I do have a stack of books here. Now, the majority of these I got from shock, 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 half price books. Because I went to Half Price Books on a weekend, and the lady that runs the comic department was not there. And a couple of the other employees, um, there were two long boxes. And I said, hey, can I go through these? And of course, they said yes. And they didn't care. They just, these, these are the employees, God bless them. They didn't care about these comic books. So I went through, and there was some good stuff in here, but I didn't want them price checked, as always. So I asked, I'm like, hey, are these, if I ask for any of these, are they, do you have to check them or do we have to wait for uh, the lady that runs the department to come back? And the guy kind of thought about it for a second and you could just see the malaise of, I work in the public service industry. I don't care. He said, uh, they're all going to be a dollar fifty, man. And I said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I come here quite a bit, so I'm, I, I usually try to spend some money. Yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I don't know if that was positive or negative, but he gave me books for $1.50. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Batman vs. Predator number one newsstand. Ooh, look at all that glare. Different setup today, so I gotta figure this out. Uh, newsstand edition. This was a hot book for a little bit when uh, Predator became owned by Marvel. So I was like, oh my gosh, how will we be able to get this in trade paperback form again? So I got issue one, newsstand, and two. And three. Dollar fifty each. Also got Marvel Team Up 122. There we go. We'll do it like this. 122. And 67. Bronze Age Marvel for a buck fifty. And 51. I am forever working on the Marvel Team Up run. I don't even know how many more issues I need, but I'm I gotta be getting close, right? Right? I don't know. And then I keep finding issues of this, and they're always beat up, and this is no exception. Ultimate Spider-Man number one. I assume newsstand edition? Um, I really don't know. There are lots of printings of this, I think, so I'm not really sure. But start of the Ultimate Marvel Universe, so cool book. Here's a book that's beat up, and I'll probably just go live on my spinner rack as a cool newsstand edition. Spider-Man versus Wolverine. Newsstand edition. Cool book. This was hot for a while. I, I don't know what this even goes for now. But the spine's all chewed up. But still for $1.50. Oh yeah, take that all day long. And then we had this random Silver Ager in there. This could use a cleaning. Uh, Marvel Collector's, Class, Collector's Item Classic number 11. Just a lot of cool stories to read in here, and it's it's great to get these 60s reprints. $1.50. What a random book to be in this collection. I don't know. But they had a bunch of amazing Spider-Man comics. Um, and anytime I can get Spidey for a buck fifty, that's a good investment because someone always wants them. You can always sell these. Amazing Spider-Man 364. Here was a minor key. 363, it's like, I don't know, third appearance of Carnage is part of that storyline. They didn't have the first appearance of Carnage or the, the second appearance, but they had this one. Um, 352. 349. 348. $1.50 each, man. 333. And I'm always working on the Amazing Spider-Man run. Here's one that I wish was in nicer shape, but still a really cool looking book. 323. Newsstand edition. This great Todd McFarlane Captain America cover. Oh, that's a nice book. I've always loved this cover. Another McFarlane cover. 321. A few annuals. Oop. Dropping looks. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 28, newsstand edition. And 19, newsstand. And 18. 
buck fifty each. And then, okay, so these, let's see, and then there are a few more that I got for a buck fifty, and then I'll show my big books for the, the haul here. So they also had Amazing Spider-Man 171 Bronze Age. Bronze Age Spidey for $1.50. This is in beautiful shape. And $1.50, oh, I was so excited. Because I knew they would have priced this one at least $10. And $1.70. And then the best one I got out of there, in my opinion, was this one. Marvel Team-Up number two. Second issue of Marvel Team Up for $1.50. Look at how pretty that is. Bronze Age Marvel at its finest all day long. And then the other really cool purchase I made here recently was I was at my local one of my local antique malls, and the one vendor that sells comics, he had a few new things out in the case. So behind locked the lock here. He had a bunch of Silver Surfer for $10 each, including the original series. So for $10 each, I came away with Silver Surfer number eight, which I think is the first appearance of Ghost, the Ghost. Not like the one from the MCU movies, um, but you know, different character. And then number 16, with this great Mephisto cover. But the one I was most excited about, and I've wanted this book for a long time, Silver Surfer number 18. Last Jack Kirby drawn Marvel comic before he goes over to DC. This is like, some people could consider this the end of the Silver Age of Marvel. And it's not in perfect shape, but it's such a historic book and I don't think it's talked about enough. And the last panels in this, go look it up because I don't want to open it up, but the last panels in this are so interesting to me because the Marvel method. So Kirby draws it and then Stan Lee goes and writes the dialogue. But the last panels are just a silver surfer just kind of crumpled and sitting and like sulking. It's all shadowed heavily. And the very last, and it's, he stands up and he's getting angry. And the last panel is just a full, a full page shot Silver Surfer's face just screaming, just screaming at the camera. And I got to think, is that Jack Kirby just screaming out to the heavens at Marvel and screaming at Marvel like, this is it? I'm so frustrated with you and with the lack of respect and money and everything else you've done to me. Just, I'm done. Just, I, this is just history. Marvel Comics and comic book history. And I got it for $10. And I was thrilled about that. And that's what I got this time, people. Um, I'm in a goofy setup here. I'm in my living room. The comic room is on hiatus. Um, my fiance's daughter has uh, moved back in with us for the time being. In between college and early 20s life, we've all been there. Oh my gosh. So the, the spare bedroom, aka the comic book room, was disassembled. And I have comic book boxes everywhere. They are end tables right now, covered under nice cardboard and cloth to keep everything safe. They're in closets. They're everywhere. It was a labor. But we'll get the room back one of these days. Uh, until then, I will keep hunting and finding, and I'll show off the books as often as I can, guys. But that's it. Everybody be well, be safe, keep hunting. See you soon.